The sunlight streaming through the window felt alien on my fur. After years of artificial lighting on starships and the harsh glare of alien suns, the warm glow of Earth's star was both comforting and disorienting. I stretched, my enhanced muscles rippling under my coat, and padded to the kitchen of my modest apartment. Three months had passed since the end of the war. Three months of awards ceremonies, debriefings, and attempts at normalcy whatever that meant for a neo-dog created for combat. As I waited for my coffee maker to finish brewing one of many human habits I'd picked up my sensitive ears, picked up the sound of my hollow screen activating in the living room. Another news report, no doubt. I sighed, bracing myself for whatever fresh controversy the media had cooked up. Another attack last night in the Neo-Tokyo district the anchor's voice drifted in. Witnesses describe the assailant as a large, bipedal canine exhibiting extreme aggression and strength beyond normal parameters. This marks the fifth such incident this month, fueling growing concerns about the integration of neo-dogs into civilian society. The mug in my paw creaked dangerously as my grip tightened. This wasn't right. My team, all the neo-dogs I knew, we were trained, controlled. We understood the responsibility that came with our enhanced abilities. These attacks. They didn't make sense. A ping from my comm unit interrupted my thoughts. It was Nova the human stealth specialist from my old team. Rex, her voice was tense. You seeing this? Yeah, I growled. Something's not adding up. Damn straight. Meet me at the old spot in an hour. Bring Fang and Whiskers. The old spot was a small park near the former Earth Defense Force headquarters. As I approached, my enhanced senses on high alert, I spotted Nova sitting on a bench, her posture deceptively casual. Fang, the massive Neo-Mastiff, was already there, trying and failing to look inconspicuous behind a too small tree. Whiskers, our tech expert, arrived moments later, his whiskers twitching nervously. All right, Pack, I said as we gathered, falling easily into our old patterns. What's the situation? Nova's eyes darted around, checking for eavesdroppers. I've been doing some digging. These attacks, they're not random and I don't think they're being carried out by any neo-dogs we know. Fang let out a low growl. You thinking what I'm thinking? I nodded grimly. The early experiments. The unstable ones. Whiskers' ears flattened against his head. But that's impossible. Those prototypes were supposed to be. Decommissioned. Supposed to be Nova emphasized. But I've found some irregularities in the old project files. Redactions missing data. And get this, some of the politicians who were on the oversight committee for the Neo-Dog program. They've been making some interesting financial moves lately. My mind raced, connecting the dots. Military contracts. Nova nodded. Bingo. Big ones. All related to planetary defense and get this, enhanced peacekeeping forces. A chill ran down my spine, making my fur stand on end. They're manufacturing a threat using unstable neo-dogs to scare the population, to make them think. To make them think we're all ticking time bombs, Fang finished, his massive paws clenching into fists, and that the aliens might be coming back. Whiskers was already pulling up data on his portable hollow projector. Public opinion of neo-dogs has dropped 47% in the last month alone. And look at these poll numbers support for increased military spending is at an all-time high. I felt a growl building in my throat. We had fought and bled for Earth, sacrificed so much, and now our very existence was being used to manipulate the people we'd sworn to protect. We need to stop this, I said, my voice hard with determination. We need to find these unstable neo-dogs, figure out who's really behind this, and expose the truth. Nova nodded, a fierce grin on her face. Just like old times, eh? Impossible odds, fate of the world at stake. Despite the gravity of the situation, I felt my tail give a slight wag. This was what we were made for not just fighting, but protecting, standing up for what was right. All right, Pack, I said, looking each of my teammates in the eye. Looks like we've got a new mission. Let's show these politicians that you can't teach an old dog new tricks, especially when those tricks involve lying to the entire planet. As we dispersed, making plans to begin our investigation, I couldn't shake a feeling of unease. 
We had faced down alien armadas and doomsday weapons, but this, this was different. We were fighting an enemy that hid in the shadows, that used fear and manipulation as its weapons. But we had something they didn't. We had the truth, we had our unbreakable bond, and we had the determination that came from being both human's best friend and humanity's fiercest protector. As I made my way home, my enhanced senses alert for any sign of surveillance, I allowed myself a small, defiant grin. They thought they could use neo-dogs to scare humanity. Well, they were about to learn what happened when you backed a dog into a corner. Operation Hound's Truth was officially underway, and may the stars help anyone who tried to stand in our way. The abandoned research facility loomed before us, a relic of the early days of the neo-dog program. Its dilapidated exterior belied the secrets we hoped to find within. Nova had traced some interesting data trails here, and if we were right, this could be where it all began. Whiskers, what have we got, I asked, my ears swiveling to catch any unusual sounds. Our tech expert's paws danced over his portable console. Security systems are offline, but I'm detecting some odd energy signatures inside. Could be leftover equipment, or something else. Fang cracked his massive knuckles. Only one way to find out. As we made our way inside, the familiar sense of antiseptic and metal brought back memories of my own creation, but there was something else, something that made my hackles rise the faint, musky odor of other canines. We're not alone, I growled softly. Nova nodded, her stealth suit shimmering as she melted into the shadows. I'll scout ahead. We moved deeper into the facility, our enhanced senses on high alert. The further we went, the stronger the scent became, and then we heard it a low, feral growl that sent chills down my spine. Before we could react, a blur of fur and muscle burst from a side corridor. It was a neo-dog, but unlike any I'd seen before. Its eyes were wild, its muscles grotesquely overdeveloped, foam flecking its muzzle. Watch out, I barked, tackling whiskers out of the way as the creature lunged. Fang met the attacker head-on, the two massive canines grappling in a fury of claws and teeth. But something was off our attacker's movements were erratic, almost pained. Fang, careful, I shouted. There's something wrong with him. Nova materialized behind the feral neo-dog, a tranquilizer gun in hand. With a quiet PFF, a dart found its mark, and our attacker slumped to the ground. As we caught our breath, Whiskers approached the unconscious form cautiously. This doesn't make sense, he muttered, scanning the fallen neo-dog. These readings, it's like his enhancement process was rushed, incomplete. I felt a knot forming in my stomach. They're making more of them. But they're cutting corners, creating unstable versions. But why, Nova asked, her face grim. Why create neo-dogs that can't be controlled? The answer hit me like a plasma bolt, because they don't want to control them. They want them to be wild, dangerous. A perfect boogeyman to scare the public fang finished, nursing a nasty gash on his arm. Before we could discuss further, Whiskers' console lit up. Uh, guys, we've got company. Looks like a private security force, heavily armed. Damn, I growled. They must have been alerted when we tripped whatever defenses were left. We retreated deeper into the facility, the sounds of booted feet and shouted orders echoing behind us. As we ran, my mind raced. We had found proof that someone was creating unstable neo-dogs, but we still didn't know who was behind it all. We found ourselves in what looked like a central data hub. As Whiskers worked to download whatever information he could, the rest of us prepared for a fight. Rex Nova said, her voice tense, you need to see this. On a dusty screen, a video played. It showed a group of humans politicians I recognized from the Neo-Dog Oversight Committee discussing controlled releases and manufactured incidents. We need more chaos, one of them was saying. The public isn't scared enough yet. Release the D7 batch in Sector 4 next week. I felt a growl building in my throat. They were treating Neo-Dogs treated us like weapons to be aimed at innocent civilians. Got it, Whiskers exclaimed, downloading everything now. This should give us the evidence we need to. 
An explosion rocked the facility, cutting him off. The security team had found us. Time to go, I barked. Fang, clear us a path. Nova, cover our six. Whiskers, you stick to me like glue. What followed was a chaotic retreat. Fang barreled through makeshift barricades, his enhanced strength turning doors into splinters. Nova's marksmanship kept the security team at bay, while Whiskers and I protected the precious data we'd uncovered. As we burst out of the facility, alarms blaring behind us, I knew we had crossed a line. We were now fugitives, hunted by the very government we had once served. We regrouped at a safe house Nova had prepared, our hearts pounding and minds reeling from what we'd discovered. So what now, Fang asked, voicing the question on all our minds. I looked at my team, my family, and felt a surge of determination. Now we take this evidence to someone who can help, someone with the power to expose this conspiracy. But as Whiskers began sifting through the stolen data, his expression grew more and more troubled. Rex, he said, his voice shaking slightly. You need to see this. It goes deeper than we thought. Some of the names involved. They're at the highest levels of government. The weight of our situation settled over us. We had uncovered a conspiracy that reached to the very top, orchestrated by those who were supposed to protect the people. They'll try to discredit us, Nova said softly. Paint us as rogue elements, maybe even blame us for the attacks. I nodded grimly. Then we'll just have to be smarter, faster, and more determined than they are. We didn't save Earth from alien invasion just to let it fall to corruption from within. As we planned our next move, I couldn't help but feel a mix of anger and sadness. The bond between humans and dogs had endured for thousands of years, built on trust and loyalty. Now that bond was being exploited, twisted into a tool for fear and control. But looking at my team human and neo-dog alike, I knew that true partnership couldn't be broken so easily. We had a long fight ahead of us, but we would face it together. The politicians behind this thought they could use neo-dogs to manipulate humanity. They were about to learn that you can't leash the truth, and that when you threaten the pack, the pack fights back. The safe house felt more like a cage with each passing hour. News feeds blared constantly, each report driving home the growing crisis. Neo-dog attacks were increasing, public fear was reaching a fever pitch, and now a new development reports of a rogue team of neo-dogs and a human accomplice, wanted for questioning in connection with recent events. They had moved faster than we'd anticipated. They're painting us as the villain's fang growled, his massive paw clenching the remote, threatening to crush it. Nova placed a calming hand on his shoulder. It's a smart play. Discredit us before we can reveal what we know. I nodded grimly. Then we need to be smarter. Whiskers, what have you got from the data? Our tech expert looked up from his array of hollow screens, his whiskers twitching with nervous energy. It's bad, Rex. Really bad. The conspiracy goes deep. Politicians, military contractors, even some top brass in the Earth Defense Force. They're calling it Project Cerberus. Fitting, I growled. The mythical hound that guards the gates of hell. Whiskers continued. They've been siphoning off unstable neo-dogs for years, enhancing them further with experimental drugs and neural implants. But here's the kicker. They're not just using them for the attacks. They're planning something bigger. He pulled up a schematic that made my blood run cold. It showed a massive orbital platform, bristling with weapons. They're calling it the Watchdog Station, Whiskers explained. Officially, it's supposed to be our first line of defense against future alien invasions. But with these modifications, he trailed off, his ears drooping. It could just as easily be turned against Earth Nova finished, her voice hard. The implications were staggering. Not only were they using unstable neo-dogs to terrify the population, but they were building a weapon that could hold the entire planet hostage. We need to stop this, I said, my resolve hardening. But first, we need allies. People who will believe us and have the power to help. Fang tilted his head, a glimmer of hope in his eyes. What about Dr. Rett? She created us. She'd understand. It was a risk, but one we had to take. Using every trick Nova had taught us about staying off the grid, we made our way to the outskirts of New Beijing, 
where Dr. Elena Rett had retired after the war. As we approached her modest home, my enhanced hearing picked up the sound of raised voices inside. I signaled the team to hold back and crept closer, my heart racing. Cannot condone this, Senator Dr. Rett voice, filled with a fury I'd never heard before. What you're doing is not only unethical, it's dangerous beyond measure. A male voice responded, dripping with condescension. Your concerns are noted, Doctor. But Project Cerberus is beyond your control now. Remember, you signed the non-disclosure agreements. One word of this to anyone, and you'll be joining your precious neo-dogs in a very deep, dark hole. I'd heard enough. With a nod to my team, we burst into action. Nova disabled the senator's security detail with practiced ease, while Fang and I cornered the politician himself. The look of shock on Senator Harrison's face as he found himself face to face with two very real, very angry neo-dogs was almost comical. Impossible, he sputtered. You're supposed to be. Dead? Locked up? Sorry to disappoint, Senator, I growled, baring my teeth. But we're very much alive, and we know everything about Project Cerberus. Dr. Rett, recovering from her own shock, moved to stand beside us. Rex, what's going on? Quickly, we explained what we'd discovered. With each word, Dr. Rett expression shifted from confusion to horror to a cold, hard anger. I trusted you, she said to Harrison, her voice shaking. We all did. We were trying to create protectors, partners for humanity. And you've turned them into weapons for your own gain. Harrison's face twisted into a sneer. You're all so short-sighted. The Neo-Dog program was always about power. With Cerberus, we'll ensure Earth's dominance for generations to come. No alien race will dare threaten us again. At what cost, I snarled. The freedom of every human and neo-dog on the planet. Before Harrison could respond, the sound of approaching vehicles filled the air. Someone had triggered a silent alarm. We need to go, Nova urged. Now. Dr. Rett made a split-second decision. I'm coming with you. I helped create this mess. I'm going to help fix it. As we fled into the night, the sound of sirens wailing behind us, I knew we had just drastically upped the stakes. We were now truly unleashed rogue elements fighting against a corrupt system. We made our way to an old, abandoned military bunker that Whiskers had identified as off the grid. As we settled in, the weight of our situation settled over us. They'll come after us with everything they've got now, Fang said, his usual bravado tempered by grim reality. Nova nodded. We forced their hand. They'll have to accelerate their plans. Dr. Rett, still processing everything, spoke up. We need to warn people. About the unstable neo-dogs, about the watchdog station, all of it. I shook my head. No one will believe us. Not without proof they can't ignore. Whiskers' ears perked up. What if we could show them? Not just tell them, but show the whole world the truth. All eyes turned to our tech expert as he excitedly outlined a plan. It was audacious, dangerous, and just might work. We'd need to infiltrate a major news network, bypass their security, and broadcast our evidence live to the entire planet. As we began to plan our most daring operation yet, I couldn't help but feel a mix of fear and exhilaration. We were about to take on the entire system, to expose a conspiracy that reached to the highest levels of power. But looking at my team human, Neo Dog, and now our creator herself, I knew we had a chance. We had the truth on our side and the unbreakable bond that had seen us through war and peace. The politicians behind Project Cerberus thought they could use fear to control humanity. They were about to learn that the spirit of both humans and dogs was not so easily chained. We were unleashed now and we were coming for them. As the first light of dawn broke over our hidden bunker, we set our plan in motion. Operation Hound's Truth was entering its most critical phase. The next few days would determine not just our fate, but the fate of every human and neo-dog on Earth. The hunt was on, and this time we were the ones doing the hunting. The global news network building loomed before us, its sleek facade a stark contrast to the gritty alleyway where we huddled. Our ragtag team three neo-dogs, two humans, and a brilliant but exhausted geneticist was about to attempt the impossible. 
Run it down one more time, I growled softly, my eyes scanning for any sign of trouble. Whiskers nodded, his whiskers twitching with a mix of nervousness and excitement. Right. Nova and I will infiltrate the building using her stealth tech and my hacking skills. We'll make our way to the main broadcast room and set up a secure link. Once that's done, Dr. Rett will present our evidence live to the world. Meanwhile, Fang continued, you and I will create a distraction outside. Something big enough to draw attention, but not so big that they shut down the whole building. I nodded, feeling the weight of responsibility settle over me. And if anything goes wrong, we abort and regroup at the safe house Nova finished. No heroics, no last stands. We're no good to anyone if we're caught or killed. Dr. Rett, her face lined with determination, spoke up. Are we sure about this? Once we do this, there's no going back. We'll be declaring war on some of the most powerful people on the planet. I met her gaze steadily. With all due respect, Doctor, they declared war on us the moment they decided to use neo-dogs as weapons against the people we swore to protect. It's time we fought back. With a final check of our equipment and a series of nods, we put our plan into motion. Nova and Whiskers slipped away, becoming practically invisible thanks to their combined skills. Fang and I moved to our designated positions, ready to raise hell at a moment's notice. For several tense minutes, nothing happened. Then, Whiskers' voice crackled in our earpieces. We're in. Making our way to the broadcast room now. Stand by. I felt my muscles coil, ready for action. This was the most dangerous part of the plan the moment when we'd be most exposed. Suddenly, alarms blared from inside the building. Abort Nova's voice, tight with tension. Security's onto us. We need a distraction now. Fang and I sprang into action. With a shared nod, we burst from our hiding spots and charged towards the main entrance. Guards shouted in surprise and fear at the sight of two massive, enhanced canines bearing down on them. We weren't trying to hurt anyone, just create chaos. Fang overturned vehicles with his immense strength while I used my speed and agility to keep the guards off balance. The commotion quickly drew a crowd, smartphones recording every moment. It's working, Whiskers reported. Security's focus is split. We're almost to the broadcast room. But our luck couldn't hold forever. As more guards poured out of the building, I caught a familiar and chilling scent. Fang, watch out, I barked. We've got company. From the shadows emerged three neo-dogs, but not like us. Their eyes were wild, their muscles unnaturally bulging, foam flecking their muzzles. The unstable prototypes from Project Cerberus had been unleashed. This wasn't part of the plan, Fang growled, backing up to stand beside me. Plans change, I replied, baring my teeth. We hold the line. Give the others time. What followed was the most brutal fight of my life. These weren't the mindless berserkers we'd encountered before. Someone had given them just enough control to be truly dangerous. They attacked with a feral cunning that pushed Fang and me to our limits. As we fought, I became aware of the growing crowd of onlookers. Humans watched in a mix of fear and fascination as neo-dogs battled in the street. I realized with a start that this was exactly what the conspirators wanted a public spectacle to stoke fear and justify their actions. We need to end this, I growled to Fang between exchanging blows with a particularly vicious opponent. Not just win, but show them we're not the monsters they think we are. Fang nodded, understanding immediately. With a surge of strength, he pinned his attacker, not hurting him but holding him immobile. I did the same with mine, using every ounce of my training to subdue rather than destroy. As the last of the unstable neo-dogs was contained, a hush fell over the crowd. They had expected a bloodbath but had witnessed something else entirely control, restraint, humanity. Now, whiskers I barked into my comm, we've given you all the time we can. Inside the building, our team sprang into action. Dr. Rett voice suddenly boomed from every screen and speaker in the vicinity. People of Earth, she began, her voice steady despite the circumstances. My name is Dr. Elena Rett. I am the creator of the Neo-Dog program, and I have a grave warning for you all. What followed was a concise but damning presentation of evidence. 
Dr. Rett laid out the entire conspiracy project Cerberus, the manufactured attacks, the watchdog station, all of it. Whiskers supplemented her words with a steady stream of classified documents, video footage, and financial records. As the broadcast continued, I became aware of a shift in the crowd around us. The fear in their eyes was being replaced by something else understanding, then anger, but not at us. It's working, Fang murmured, his tail giving a cautious wag. But our victory was short-lived. The sound of approaching helicopters filled the air, and I spotted heavily armed troops converging on our position. In time to go, I barked. Whiskers, Nova, Dr. Rett, get out of there now. As we made our escape, weaving through back alleys and using every trick we'd learned in the war, I couldn't help but feel a mix of triumph and trepidation. We'd done it, we'd exposed the truth to the world. But the real fight was just beginning. We regrouped at our safe house, exhausted but alive. As we watched the fallout of our broadcast unfold on the news, with protests erupting and calls for investigations echoing across the globe, Dr. Rett turned to me with a weary smile. You know, she said softly, when I first created Neo Dogs, I hoped you would be protectors, partners for humanity. I never imagined you'd end up saving us from ourselves. I leaned into her touch as she scratched behind my ears, a gesture that never failed to comfort me. We're just living up to the legacy of every loyal dog throughout history, Doctor, protecting our pack, no matter the cost. As the night wore on and we began to plan our next move, I knew that our fight was far from over. The conspirators would strike back harder than ever, but we had done something crucial we had given the people of Earth the truth. And armed with that truth, I believed that humans and neo-dogs together could overcome any challenge. The world was in chaos. Our broadcast had ignited a firestorm of controversy, protests, and demands for justice. But as we huddled in our safe house, watching the events unfold on a battered hollow screen, I couldn't shake the feeling that our enemies weren't done yet. They're being too quiet, I growled, pacing restlessly. A conspiracy this big, with this much power they should be fighting back harder. Nova nodded grimly. I agree. This feels like the calm before the storm. Dr. Rett, who had been poring over data with whiskers, suddenly sat up straight, her face pale. Oh no, she whispered. What is it? Doc Fang asked, his ears perking up in alarm. The watchdog station, she said, her voice shaking. According to these logs, it's nearly operational, and there's a launch schedule for today. The implications hit us like a physical blow. The conspirators weren't lying low, they were preparing their endgame. Whiskers paws flew over his console. She's right, I'm picking up increased activity at the spaceport. They're accelerating their timeline. I felt a growl building in my throat. They're going to use the chaos we created as cover for their final move. If that station gets into orbit, then they'll have a gun pointed at the head of every person on Earth Nova finished, her face grim. We all knew what we had to do. It was time for one final mission, one last desperate gamble to save everything we'd fought for. As we prepared, gathering what weapons and equipment we could, I took a moment to look at my team. Humans and neo-dogs, working in perfect harmony. This was what we were meant for not to be weapons or tools, but partners in the truest sense. Whatever happens, I said, my voice thick with emotion, it's been an honor serving with all of you. Fang clapped a massive paw on my shoulder. Save the speeches for when we win, boss. We've got a planet to save. Again. His confidence was infectious, and I felt my tail give an involuntary wag. He was right. We'd face down alien armadas and doomsday weapons. We could handle a few corrupt politicians and their orbital death ray. Our plan was audacious, bordering on insane. We would infiltrate the spaceport, commandeer a shuttle, and take the fight directly to the watchdog station before it could be fully activated. As we approached the spaceport, the scale of our challenge became apparent. Security was tight, with both human forces and what looked like more stable versions of the enhanced neo-dogs we'd encountered before. Looks like they've been busy, Nova muttered, her stealth suit shimmering as she scouted ahead. Nothing we can't handle, Fang growled, cracking his knuckles. 
we split into two teams. Nova, Whiskers, and Dr. Red would work on securing a shuttle and overriding its systems. Fang and I would create a diversion and clear a path. What followed was a whirlwind of action. Fang and I tore through the spaceport's defenses like a force of nature. My enhanced speed and agility complemented his raw power perfectly, and together we were unstoppable. But it wasn't just about fighting. As we encountered other Neo-dogs, some confused, some hostile I tried to reach them, to make them understand. You don't have to do this, I barked as I grappled with a particularly fierce opponent. You're not their weapon, you're alive, you can choose. Some listened, their eyes clearing as if waking from a dream. Others fought on, too far gone in their conditioning. For those, we did what we had to, but it broke my heart every time. Meanwhile, Nova's team worked their magic. Alarms blared as they hijacked a sleek, military-grade shuttle, wherein Nova's voice crackled over our comms. Get to landing Bay 7 now. As Fang and I fought our way towards the rendezvous point, I became aware of a new presence. A scent I recognized all too well. Senator Harrison stood before us, flanked by a squad of elite guards and the most enhanced neo-dogs we'd seen yet. His face was a mask of cold fury. I should have had you put down like the dogs you are, he snarled. No matter. Once the watchdog station is operational, we'll reshape the world as we see fit. No more aliens, no more threats, just pure human dominance. You're insane, I growled. You'd enslave the entire planet just to feel safe. Harrison's laugh was chilling. Enslave? We're saving humanity from itself. And if a few million lives are lost in the process, well, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. What followed was the most intense fight of our lives. Harrison's enhanced neo-dogs were unlike anything we'd faced before faster, stronger, and utterly relentless. Fang and I were pushed to our absolute limits. But we had something they didn't. We had a cause worth fighting for, a bond that went beyond mere training or genetic engineering. As we fought back to back, human and neo-dog alike, I felt a surge of pride and determination. Just when it seemed we might be overwhelmed, a familiar voice rang out. Get down. Dr. Rett stood at the entrance to landing Bay 7, a prototype weapon in her hands. With a whine of charging energy, it fired, sending out a pulse that dropped the enhanced neo-dogs in their tracks. Neural disruptor, she explained as we raced towards the shuttle. Designed to counteract the control implants. They'll be fine, just. Very confused when they wake up. As we boarded the shuttle, alarms blaring all around us, I spared one last look at Senator Harrison. The fear and rage in his eyes told me everything. He knew he had lost. The shuttle rocketed into the sky, Whiskers' expert piloting keeping us just ahead of the pursuing fighters. As Earth fell away beneath us and the looming bulk of the watchdog station came into view, I felt a mix of dread and determination. This was it. Our final stand. Everything we'd fought for came down to this moment. As we prepared to dock with the station, Nova turned to me, her eyes shining with a fierce light. You know, she said with a grin, when I signed up to work with Neo Dogs, I never imagined it would lead to this. I couldn't help but wag my tail. What? Saving the world from corrupt politicians with delusions of grandeur? Just another day at the office for us. Fang let out a rumbling laugh. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to show these guys what happens when you mess with man's best friend. As the airlock cycled and we prepared to board the watchdog station, I felt a surge of confidence. We had come so far, overcome so much. Whatever challenges lay ahead on that station, I knew we would face them together. The hunt was on, and this time we were bringing the full force of human and canine cooperation to bear. The conspirators thought they could control the world. They were about to learn that some bonds can't be broken, some spirits can't be caged. It was time to show them the true power of loyalty, courage, and the unbreakable alliance between human and dog. The watchdog station loomed before us, a massive orbital fortress bristling with weaponry. As our stolen shuttle docked, I couldn't help but marvel at the irony. A station named after loyal guardians, built by those who had betrayed everything we stood for. Remember I growled as we prepared to disembark, 
Our primary objective is to shut down the station's weapons systems. Everything else is secondary. Nova nodded, checking her gear one last time. And if we happen to gather more evidence of the conspiracy along the way. All the better Fang finished with a toothy grin. Dr. Rett, looking both determined and a little terrified, spoke up. I should be able to override the main systems if I can get to the control center. But we'll need to be quick, once they realize we're here. They'll throw everything they have at us, Whiskers finished, his whiskers twitching nervously. I nodded grimly. Then let's not waste any time. Move out. We burst into the station, immediately splitting into our pre-assigned teams. Nova and Whiskers headed for the communication hub, aiming to cut off the station's contact with Earth. Fang and I made for the main reactor, planning to sabotage the power systems. Dr. Rett, protected by a squad of loyal security personnel who had joined our cause, made her way to the control center. The station was a maze of corridors and security checkpoints, but our team moved with the precision born of years of combat experience. My enhanced senses allowed me to detect approaching enemies long before they arrived, giving us a crucial edge. As we fought our way deeper into the station, we encountered more of the enhanced neo-dogs. But something was different this time. Their hesitating fang growled as we faced off against a group of them. He was right. The fierce, mindless aggression we'd seen before was gone. Instead, these neo-dogs seemed confused, conflicted. I took a chance. You don't have to fight us, I barked at them. You're not weapons, you're not tools. You're alive, and you can choose. For a moment, nothing happened. Then, slowly, one of the neo-dogs lowered its weapon, then another, and another. Its working fang said, awe in his voice. The neural disruptor Dr. Rett used at the spaceport. It must have weakened their conditioning, I finished. Quick, spread the word to the others. We might be able to turn this around without further bloodshed. As we continued our advance, now joined by some of the liberated neo-dogs, Nova's voice crackled over our comms. We've got a problem. The main control center is locked down tight. We can't get Dr. Red in. My mind raced. What about the reactor? Fang and I are almost there. Whiskers' voice came through, tense but excited. That could work. If you can cause a power surge, it might create a gap in their security protocols. Just enough for us to slip through. Consider it done, I growled. What followed was a desperate race against time. Fang and I, aided by our new allies, fought our way to the reactor core. With Whiskers guiding us remotely, we managed to initiate a controlled overload. The station shuddered, lights flickering ominously. For a heart-stopping moment, I feared we'd gone too far. Then Dr. Rett triumphant voice came through. We're in. I've got control of the main systems, shutting down weapons now. A cheer went up from our team, but our victory was short-lived. Alarms blared and a new voice came over the station's speakers. This is Admiral Graves of the Earth Defense Force, the voice boomed. We've detected unauthorized access to critical systems. You have five minutes to surrender control before we open fire. My blood ran cold. In our rush to stop the conspiracy, we'd forgotten one crucial detail to the rest of the world. We were still the bad guys. Dr. Red, I barked. Can you broadcast from here? To Earth and the EDF ships. Yes, but do it. Now. It's time to end this once and for all. Moments later, I found myself facing a camera, my image being transmitted across the planet and to the approaching EDF fleet. I took a deep breath, knowing that everything hinged on what I said next. People of Earth, this is Sergeant Rex Wolfborn. You know me as a neo-dog, as a soldier, maybe even as a threat. But I am here to tell you the truth. Over the next few minutes, I laid out everything the conspiracy, Project Cerberus, the true purpose of the watchdog station. As I spoke, Dr. Rett and Whiskers flooded the channels with hard evidence documents, video footage, financial records. We are not your enemies, I concluded, my voice firm. We never were. We were created to protect humanity, and that is exactly what we're doing now. 
This station was built not to safeguard Earth, but to control it. We've stopped it, but the real work is just beginning. I paused, looking directly into the camera. To all Neo-Dogs out there, confused and afraid you are not alone. You are not weapons. You are living beings with the power to choose. And to all humans we are not monsters. We are your partners, your protectors, your friends. It's time we remembered that. As I finished speaking, there was a moment of tense silence. Then, gradually, reports started coming in. EDF ships standing down. Protests on Earth turning into celebrations. Calls for investigations into the conspiracy at the highest levels of government. We had done it. We had exposed the truth and stopped the watchdog station. But as we regrouped, exhausted but triumphant, I knew that our greatest challenge still lay ahead. In the days and weeks that followed, the world changed. Trials were held, corrupt officials were ousted, and a massive overhaul of the Neo-Dog program began. Dr. Rett led the effort to help the unstable Neo-Dogs, working tirelessly to undo the damage done by Project Cerberus. As for my team and me, we found ourselves in an unfamiliar position hailed as heroes rather than hunted as fugitives. It was a strange feeling, but one that came with new responsibilities. We were called upon to help bridge the gap between humans and neo-dogs, to show the world that our two species were stronger together than apart. It wasn't always easy. There were still those who feared us, who couldn't see past their prejudices. But with each passing day, with each small act of courage and kindness, we made progress. One year after the watchdog station incident, I stood before a crowd of humans and neo-dogs at the opening of the first interspecies cooperation center. As I looked out at the sea of faces human and canine alike, I felt a surge of hope. A long time ago. I began, humans and dogs formed a partnership that would change the course of history. We've been through war and peace, hardship and prosperity, always at each other's sides. The Neo-Dog program was born out of that ancient bond. And despite the best efforts of those who would twist it to their own ends, that bond has emerged stronger than ever. I paused looking at my team Nova, Fang, Whiskers, and Dr. Rett, standing proudly in the front row. We faced our greatest challenge not from alien invaders, but from those who would use fear to divide us. But in overcoming that challenge, we've proven once again the power of loyalty, courage, and friendship. Human and canine, standing together as equals, as partners, as family. As applause filled the air, I couldn't help but wag my tail. We had been through so much, face trials I never could have imagined. But through it all, the unbreakable bond between human and dog had endured. We had started this journey as man's best friend. We had become man's brother in arms. And now, as I looked towards the future, a future, a future bright with possibility, I knew we were something even greater. We were proof that when two species come together in trust and friendship, there's no force in the universe that can stand against them. The stars awaited us and whatever challenges lay ahead, I knew one thing for certain we would face them together, human and neo-dog, united in a partnership as old as civilization and as new as the dawn. We had claimed our future, and it was looking brighter than ever. Thank you so much for listening to this story. I hope you loved it. Please remember to subscribe if you did like it so you can see more videos like this, and please give us a like and a comment too. I'll see you in the next one.